Hi and welcome to the Daily Insight for Saturday, August 19th. I have two cards for love and two cards for career and finance. So the first card you have for love is the Emperor. So some of you, this could be um, a father figure, this could be somebody that you're dating. This is a mature person who is, um, I always see them as uh, the Emperor as somebody who is like very well established, stable, um, kind of like a CEO of a corporation. So in, in um, known in society, like respected, well respected, but this person is very intelligent and wise. They, um, they've learned what works and what doesn't work. They can be very stoic, especially when it comes to emotions. For some of you, this could be your father, again, um, or a parental figure in your life. Um, for others, again, this could be somebody that you're dealing with, mature, all right? It's followed by the Three of Cups. So the Three of Cups is about celebration. Uh, some of you may be meeting somebody new in your life that is well established in their field whatever it is they do and this could be in their love area this I kind of see him as all areas you know what I mean he knows exactly how he wants his life and he's um, an authoritative figure but whether you have a conversation with a brand new person or a uh, person in your current love life or even in your family life this conversation, whatever's going to take place with the emperor energy that you'll be dealing with is going to actually make you feel like celebrating. So for some of you, they could be giving you an offer. Okay, and you had two cards come out. Release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. So for some of you, the emperor may be your ex, okay? And for others, you may need to release your ex so that you can say yes to this person. You know your situation. The next card that came out is let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally, which kind of also goes with the emperor. So, yeah. Yep. And for career and finance, and I will relate it to love, we have the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords is also a highly intelligent person, um, somebody who's been through everything. They, they've been manipulated, lied to. This person has taken every situation that they go through and they pull the lessons out of it, let go of the negativity in the past, and they move forward with that as wisdom. They carry their sword with them so that they know how to cut people out of their life and uh, protect themselves from people who try to harm them. So for some of you in relating this, this could be your energy or this could be your energy. Um, if you're releasing your ex, there, there it is. That you're gonna get the energy of the Queen of Swords and you're gonna cut them right out of there. But please keep in mind, this says let go of control issues. And I will tell you, there's a lot of people that I deal with that I do these love readings for and they're very controlling with me <laughs> or try to be. But the thing is, is if they're doing it with me, you know they're doing it with the other person. If they're waiting for their soulmate to come back, you 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 got to let go and let God sometimes, right? Oh, nice. The next card is the Fool card. That's the let go and let God. So that totally fits with this. So for many, and I am hearing many, you are actually going to release the X. And we're in that period of time right now where Mercury in retrograde, we have people coming back from the past. Now, this could be letting go of somebody in your family. Whoever this person represents, moving forward without this person is for the better. And this is for some of you. And for some of you, by letting go of control issues, you will bring this person into your life. Let go of your ex, let the new person in, and just let go, let God, speak your truth, stand up for what you want, and trust, okay? That's what the fool is all about, is taking a leap of faith. 
let go, let God, let God control everything. The universe knows what it's doing. Um, in relating this to finance, some of you may be actually walking away from a job where there's some bitterness going on at work. It could be from a supervisor, it could be from coworkers. I pretty much think this is like one main person, an authoritative person. Um, for others, you could be cut out of whatever position you're in. For finances, you may be advised, somebody might be telling you the truth about something and it may have not, uh, you're not choosing to accept it. You're choosing to move forward without that. Others, you may have a job offer that comes in and you are moving forward in that job offer. You don't know what this is going to lead to, okay, because we have different scenarios for different people. The bottom line is you don't know what it's going to lead to, but have faith in the universe. Everything is going to work out absolutely incredible and you will be able to celebrate so have an absolutely wonderful saturday